Okay, guys, I thought I would do these on paper so you can see them really up close and make sure there's plenty of room on here and see it line by line, uh, these decimal ones. Then I'm going to do a, a fraction one and a decimal one to remind you of what to do with the remainders and just show it really, really clearly. Um, you know, fortunately, you know, uh, we've got to kind of keep moving um, to make sure we have time for fractions on this last unit as, as time kind of winds down here. But I, I just want to thank you guys for doing the work and, and checking in and uh, just keep at it. Uh, division, you know, we, we are getting into the more meatier things, and so it's going to take a little bit long. You may have to watch these a few more times, maybe even do a little research on things that may help you uh, on the internet and uh, finding some videos that maybe, maybe just hearing it a different way. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, not being part of a classroom does make it a little bit um, harder to individually pinpoint each each uh, issue, but hopefully, just seeing it a couple more times, kind of you know, open up some of those ways for you. Now these are gonna be, this was the assignment from Thursday. So these are gonna be the ones that um, have to be a decimal remainder. And so let's go through our process of these. Okay, first off, two goes into nine. Okay, and this is, this is what we're talking about, going into each individual number. And you're seeing how many times this will go into this. You can use your multiplication chart. You know, you can, you can uh, look and see, you know, um, like the rows of twos, two, four, six, eight. And when you get to eight, that's four times. And the next one's 10. So if you've got that multiplication chart, you know, where you're looking two, four, six, eight, uh, 10, and these are the rows of twos. Well, if you go too far, then five's too big. So, you know, five's up here. So if you go too far, you can't, you're not gonna use a five. And so, but you don't wanna go too small and have a remainder bigger than what it is. You wanna get right, to the number right before you go over. So that's why we go to eight and, it, and that's a four up here on your multiplication chart. And so that means it goes in here four times without going over, okay? And then we do the four times two, which is eight, okay? And you subtract that and you got a remainder of one. Now, since these are decimals, we're gonna start our decimal. Okay, and always put it up in your answer. And then to keep dividing, we're not just gonna put the one up there, because that, that wouldn't be, you know, that's not splitting $9 evenly. You gotta bring a zero and bring that down, okay? And then two goes into 10. This is where you could check two goes into 10 evenly five times, okay? And once you get a zero, now you're done. Your answer is 4.5. All right, let's try it again. Now I do this, you don't have to, but it helps me if you're trying to keep it straight and really working on that. Four does not go into one. So I'm gonna put an X up there so I know to move on to now 12. Because if it didn't go into one, now you're checking into 12. And if you check your rows of four, you know, four, eight, 12 on that multiplication, it goes evenly into 12 three times. Okay, and it's even, so you come out as zero, but that doesn't mean you're done because you're not to the end. So you bring that six down, and four goes into six one time without going over and you have a remainder of two. Got to keep going for the decimal, bring a zero down, and then if you check your rows of fours, it goes into 25 times. So you can still use your multiplication chart, and it's 31.5. Okay, let's do this one. Five doesn't go into one, but it goes into 12 twice without going over. Bring your seven down, goes in there five times without going over. Bring your four down, goes into 24, four times without going over. And we're at the end. But we put a decimal, put a zero, and five goes into 48 times, evenly. So your answer is 254.8, okay? Two goes into seven. Uh, it does go into 7, so we're not going to put an X. It goes in there three times. Bring down the 9. goes in there nine times without going over. Bring down the 3. goes into there thir uh, six times without going over. Bring down the 1. And it goes into there five times without going over. Now you're at the end. That's why we keep it straight, each number, 
make sure it's got a little spot above it. Bring down the zero, and two goes into 10 five times evenly. And so our answer is 3,965.5. Last one on that assignment, eight doesn't go into two, but it goes into 26 three times. Bring down the five goes into 25 three times again without going over you're at 24 again okay start a decimal bring down the zero goes into there once without going over but we still have a remainder so we have to keep going we put another zero it goes into 20 twice still have a remainder so we bring another zero we go until we get even here and that's because these are going to come out eventually now on a Calculators, sometimes you do some that will go on forever, but we will end these these ones for your test. So 8 goes into 40 five times without going over, and it's even. So our answer was 33.125, okay? All right, so let me do one of each, the fraction and the decimal. Now, obviously, if it comes out even, you don't have a remainder and you're done, but this is. let's do this one as a fraction. And this one is a decimal. And on your test, I'll mark which ones I want you to do is which, okay? So this one we're going to do is a fraction. Six doesn't go into three, but it goes into 37 six times without going over. Subtract, and then bring down your nine. Goes into 19 three times without going over. And you got your remainder one. Now as a fraction, you're done with your dividing. You're just going to take this one and put it above the whatever number this is, the divisor. So you just divide, when you get your remainder, put it above the divisor. So that's my answer, 63 and 1 6. Okay, on the decimal, okay, four doesn't go into two, but it goes into 24 six times evenly, but we still gotta keep going. We need something above the three. It does not go into three. It, as soon as one time, it's over. So we can't put any of them in there. And we've got a remainder, so we're going to start our decimal. Bring a zero down. Four goes into 30 seven times without going over. Still have a remainder, so we need another zero. Bring it down. And four goes into 20 five times. And that's where it comes out even. So this answer was 60.75. So that gives you a look at both, okay? And so on your study guide here, it's going to be the photo that's also with this. Um, that's what you're going to be um, working on. Okay. All right. Check your answers. Go through that. And, you know, these are fractions. These are decimals.